I was in Indonesia recently and I made mention of a point of a magician, a lady from Russia. In an interview online that is there, she was asked, when you're doing your magic and when you're trying to do, affect people with all types of magic, are there any people that you find it difficult to actually affect? She says, yes, the Muslims. The practicing Muslims who pray five times a day. These are the words of a non-Muslim. Go and check it out. It's there. Why? She explains that when they pray, there is a strength and there is like a dome around them. You just can't get through. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Wallahi, these are non-Muslims telling you. And you, you, you think that this Quran we have been blessed with is something minor. It is the most amazing gift that you have, but you don't do qadr of it. You don't appreciate it. Sometimes you have a spouse, a husband or a wife, the best that you could ever have had. But because you don't appreciate them, you lose them. It happens. When you've lost them, you say, oh, you know what? I lost. Too late. Too late. Sometimes you have a gift of Allah, a job. You don't appreciate that Allah has blessed you. And you start dilly-dallying and you don't take it seriously and you lose your job. Allah says, I gave you. You were the one who turned away from me. You were the one who didn't want, who did not appreciate. How many times do you say, Laka alhamdu wa laka shukru ya wajidu jalla jalalu. How many times do you say, to you is all praise, O Allah. To you is all thanks, O Allah. How do you expect to heal from your sicknesses, your diseases, your weaknesses, your difficulties, your hardships? And every one of us has all of those. I have difficulties and you do. The level of the difficulty is different, but I have hardship. You have hardship. The level of your hardship and mine is different and others might be more, others are less. But we have it because Allah says, We will test all of you. You're going to go through challenges. You will have sickness. The level of your sickness differs. Some will die in their sickness. Some of the sicknesses we are told by Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you have them, you die with the rank of a martyr. Imagine what type of a sickness that is. You die with the rank of a martyr. Why? Because you were patient. You thanked Allah, Oh Allah. You kept me for 60 years with such good health. Now that I'm unwell, the first thing I want to do is to thank you for those 60 years. Don't complain. Was and ashamed to complain to Allah because he tells his wife, Allah kept me healthy for so many years. I'm unhealthy for a short time. How can I make dua to him to tell him that, oh Allah, this and that. Subhanallah. Look at the level of love of Allah. He doesn't even want to complain. Oh Allah, you've kept me in this condition. I'm still happy. We are not prophets of Allah. We are not Ayyub alayhi salam. So don't go back home and say, today we were told don't make dua. For us, you have a massive reward in calling out to Allah before you have the problem.